Hello fellow makeup lovers, how are you guys doing today? I thought we could go ahead and test out some new makeup together because I received a package in the mail from Monica Blender Beauty, which if you're not familiar with Monica Blender, she is a celebrity makeup artist who created her own makeup line and I've been seeing some more hype around them on Instagram, so I was really excited to give them a try. I have a bunch of goodies here. There's some foundation, some lippy, some blush, and I just thought we could go ahead and try it out together, try out Monica Blender Beauty. Everything that's in here is more of like a cream liquid product, so I thought we may as well at the same time do another look together with the Blend Bunny Cosmetics Forget Me Not palette, which just launched. This is a versatile eye and face palette. I did do a full video on it already with like swatches and everything. Actually, my last video, the eyeshadow Shadow Palette Tag 5000, I was wearing this on my eyes, but I just thought we could go ahead and do another look together, keep testing it out because these are all powders, it just works out. So there's one product in the box that I have already tried. This is the Undercover Face Creme and it is an expensive facial moisturizer. It feels really good on the skin. I'm gonna go ahead and apply it now, but I did try it as soon as the box came and I made my boyfriend try it because he's very much just like a throw lubriderm on your face and go kind of dude, which I mean, you know, at least he's using some type of moisturizer, but I was like, you wanna try this out with me? It's very fancy. I do just wanna say one cool thing I've noticed about all of the packaging of these products is that there's a lot of details on the cardboard, which I love. There's an explanation of exactly how to use it. There's a whole explanation of like the story behind each product and the story behind the brand. So I thought that that was really cool. The packaging of this is actually super heavy and it's just very luxurious feeling. So here's what it looks like inside. I'm just gonna go ahead and add a little bit onto my skin. The directions do say to warm it up between your fingers and then apply, but I'm just gonna go ahead and throw it on. I wanted to do this first before we get into all the other products in the box because I wanted to give it time to kind of soak in. They did send over the blender cover in two different shades, which this is supposed to be like a foundation, concealer, use it for what you want kind of product. And I thought that my shade would be number one, the lightest shade, but they ended up sending me shade number one and shade number 1.5. So if I can use 1.5 as foundation and one as concealer, that would be great, but we shall see. Again, packaging feels really nice. Here is what shade number one looks like, which I mean, you guys can probably see why I thought that one's pretty close to my skin tone. I'm just gonna go ahead and do a little swatcheroo right here just to see. Yeah, I feel like that's probably my shade. And then here is what 1.5 looks like, which it actually is a little bit more on the warm side. So there's 1.5. It looks actually like straight up yellow on my skin tone, which makes me feel bad since I just swatched it and stuck my fingers in there, but think we'll definitely go with shade one. They also sent over the Call Your Buff angled brush, which does say that it's meant for contouring in all the right places. And it says it's also good for a quick all over foolproof base application or for blush. So we'll try and use this for a few things. Like I said, I mean, you guys can see there's just so much information on the packaging, I love it. Oh, here is what the brush looks like. It's very soft, very dense. I could see how that'd be really good for foundation, for contour, for blush. Um, probably a little bit too big for concealer. Okay, next, I have the Botanical Balm Hyaluronic Lip Tint in the shade Frawling, which actually, I did try this already too, but I just couldn't help myself. I don't even know what it looked like. I tried it without looking in the mirror. I just wanted to feel the texture, but this is a tiny little like hyaluronic lip tint that has a shade to it. And I just, I don't know, I couldn't help myself. I love a good glossy lip tint. I don't normally go for packaging like this, but if it's good, I'll make it work. So there's what that looks like, kind of swatched out. You can see it's just like a really soft nude shade with like a little bit of a glow to it. And then they also sent over their liquid flush in the shade Munchin, which is a cheek tint. It's a really pretty, like kind of soft, peachy nude. I'm very, very excited to try that out. So let's go ahead and start applying to the face. So like I said, just going in with shade one and I'm going to kind of apply some dots around the face and then blend in because that's what I saw Monica Blender do. I was watching some videos on how they applied the product and what they recommended just cause I was curious. So I'm just gonna go ahead and start maybe blending it in with this brush. 
Okay, I think it's actually a little too thick for this brush. I mean, I guess I could force it to blend. I mean, I feel like I'm blending it out with this brush, but it's not giving it like the absolute most coverage. I feel like it looks very, very natural on my skin right now, like with the amount that I went in with. I think I'm gonna do another layer, not necessarily all over, but I'm just gonna kind of spot conceal with my finger because the shade is really good for me. Like it's pretty spot on, it's very neutral. So I'm just gonna kind of get the spots that I feel like I need just a little more some something. I'm gonna go into the Natasha Denona High Glam Concealer in the shade Y1. Just gonna apply a little bit of that right here. And blending that out with the BK Beauty A506. This is such a good concealer brush. I'm also just gonna use that brush, just tapping really lightly to blend in the rest of the blender cover. I'm kind of undecided on how I feel about it right now. I almost feel like I'm just gonna end up using it for spot concealing because it's working so perfectly for this. I don't know that I'm blown away by the way that it looks on my full face because it is just a little bit thick in texture. But for spot concealing, I really like it. I think that looks pretty good. I was kind of breaking out and like you can see a little bit of something there, but overall not mad at it. Let's so. jump into the Forget Me Not palette. I'm gonna do brighter days real quick. Just setting underneath my eyes with that. And then also just setting the high points of my face. I have been loving the shade Room Service, but I'm actually kind of curious to go in with this brush. I'm gonna grab a little bit. I actually picked it up super pigmented and just popping that right here. Hmm. I actually think that this would be really good with a cream bronzer for blending out. Room Service is such a pretty shade, like it's so natural for my skin tone. Next, just going into a little bit of brows. I'm gonna grab some more of Room Service and just lightly fill in the areas that are sparse. Definitely a little bit more of like a soft, subtle look, but just wanna add some in. I'm also dipping into just a little touch of All I Need for the tail of my brow, just to define that a little bit more. Going into some of the P. Louise eyeshadow primer. I don't even know exactly what I'm gonna do for my eyes today. I just know that I wanna go soft and I wanna use different shades than what I've used already. All right, I'm gonna grab the pinky light shade right here called a moment and a big fluffy brush. And I'm just gonna throw that through my crease to start off with. It's not really doing a whole lot. It's like slightly setting my crease, but it's also adding a little tiny bit of like that pretty pinky undertone. I'm gonna go into a little bit of this shade right here called Remember. It's using one of the Blend Bunny Forget Me Not brushes. And I'm gonna take that on the outer half, kind of my outer V and my crease, just kind of placing it down and buffing it out. I don't know why my cats are making some weird noises right now. So if you're hearing that in the background, I have no explanation. Okay, let's also go into a little bit of this brown right here called Here and Now. Just taking that on the same brush and again, kind of focusing that in my outer V just to add a little bit more depth. I am being a little bit messy with it. Going in with a moment again and kind of going over everything in with a bit of here and now along the lower lash line over that with a moment i'm also taking a moment along my lower lash line and then up through my inner corner lastly i'm just gonna go into a little bit of butterflies and pop that on the lid i'm gonna take just a little tiny bit of say yes just to define my lash line going in with the full sleeve mascara all right, y'all, so now let's go into the Munchin Liquid Blush. It just looks so, so pretty. I'm just gonna do a little pop right here. How about let's just start off with that and see how it goes, because some of these liquid blush formulas lately are so pigmented. Just start tapping that into the skin. Such a pretty shade. I'm gonna tap a little bit, whatever's left over on the brush onto my nose, just for a little bit of that Sunburnt summery look. 
I would say it has a pretty natural skin finish. I wouldn't call it super matte. I would definitely not call it glowy. It's super cute. It's like the perfect like spicy peach. I think for a highlighter, I'm gonna try out the shade Memories from Blend Bunny because I haven't used that on my face yet. At least like not on my cheekbones. I'm gonna add a little bit of that right on top. Actually, I think I might go in with just a little bit of that. My Singe Beauty EL4 and I'm just gonna highlight underneath my brow bone. Last but not least, let's go into the lip tint. Like I said, this is the shade Fruiling. Just gonna use a little bit of that. Ooh, it's so pretty. It's not extremely glossy, like it just has like a little glow to it, but I feel like it has like the perfect my lips but better tone for me. All right, y'all, so this is the finished look. Let's go through everything that I tried today. So starting off with the undercover face creme. This is very expensive. Like I said, I believe it's $95. The packaging is really nice. It does feel luxe, so at least the packaging does match the price. I feel like this is one of those products I'm gonna have to try for a while and just keep testing out and get back to you. Because there's no way I could tell you today if it is worth it or not, but it does have a really light, soft kind of texture to it. Like it's perfect for moisturizing under makeup and I look forward to trying it more. So far, I do like it. As far as the blender cover goes, like I said, applying it as foundation, I was just kind of like, nah about it. I'm definitely going to try it out more and see if there's a method that I prefer, but first impression, I think that I'm gonna be using this for spot concealing because the color is pretty spot on, but I do worry that it's only gonna work for me for so long because this is me at my tannest. This is me like living my summer life, going to Puerto Rico, getting all the sun and it matches me perfectly. So in a few months, there won't be a shade that matches basically. I think my favorite product might be the Liquid Flush. I just really love the shade of this. I felt like it had decent pigment. It was pretty easy to blend out. I just like the way that it looks overall. I also think that this lip tint is really pretty. It's super comfortable. It's not super glossy, but it's also not super sticky either. I feel like it's something that would be super easy to reapply and I could see myself throwing this in my purse. And then just a quick update on my thoughts on the Forget Me Not palette because I have used it multiple times since my first impression. So far, I have mixed feelings about this palette because I like using it. I have been enjoying the looks that I've done with it, but at the same time, I do feel like this is more of a face palette and I don't know that the quality of these powders for the eyes is the same as the other Blend Bunny eyeshadow palettes that are formulated for your eyes. I feel like for this, like yeah, it's more versatile, but you're kind of sacrificing some of what makes Blend Bunny shadows so special. I just feel like they're not like building up and blending out just as beautifully as they normally would, so. Yeah, I'm still testing it out, but that's where I'm at right now. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed getting ready with me and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.